Hi guys and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make water in Blender for your Roblox GFXs. So let's get started. So first of all we're going to add a plane which is going to be our body of water. I'm just going to scale it up and I'm going to I'm going to change this to uh, material view which you can do right here. I think you can do this tutorial in older versions of Blender so um, feel free to follow. So what I'm going to do is select the plane and I'm going to move up the timeline to here so I can see. I'm just going to move it up a little bit more, zoom out here, and change this uh, editor type icon and change it to shader editor. Or you could have just pressed shift F3 whilst moving your mouse around here. And so just click new right here. And now we've added a material to this plane, we need to add a watery effect to it. So to do this, we're going to add a musgrave texture. So we can go right here to add and search for it. Or we could press shift A and search for it right here. So I'm going to go musgrave texture and now you have one here we're just going to go and take that height and uh, i'm just going to take that circle hold and drag and it should show that plus sign and i'm just going to release and plug it into the height of a bump node if there was no plus for you then you can just add the bump node and then connect it like that and i'm just going to connect the normal to the normal of the principal bsdf and if you have the node wrangler add-on enabled you can just press ctrl t while selected musgrave texture and you'll get these uh mapping uh thingies however if you don't uh, all you need to do is just add a texture coordinate node Add a mapping node, connect the generated from the texture coordinate to the vector of a mapping and connect that to the vector of a Musgrave texture, it's that easy. And right here in the principal BSDF what we're going to do is we're going to go and turn up the metallic right here to 1. And then I'm going to turn down the roughness to 0. So now as you can see we have a very reflective water texture. And if you want a more detailed, however more laggy water texture, you can go right here to the Musgrave texture and turn up the detail to 15. As you can see it looks a lot better, it looks a lot nicer, everything. And to change the scale of it, or to change how much water there is in one plane, you can go to the mapping right here, hold and then drag down all the way in the scale, and then just slide it to your liking. So the more you have, the more water you will have, of course. And now you might be thinking, how do we add the transparency of the water to this? Because obviously the water isn't only reflective, it's also a little bit transparent. So what we're going to do right here in the shade editors, we're going to add a transparent BSDF node. And we're going to add a mix shader node. A mix shader, not a mix. And we're going to plug it in right here. So make sure the principal BSDF with everything else uh, plugged into it is plugged into the mix shader and then add in the transparent BSDF into the other shader slot for the mix shader and so it might not show in EV or material view so we're actually going to go into rendered mode for cycles and I'm just going to change this to GPU compute since it's a lot quicker and as you can see it's slightly transparent but it's also got that reflection which is exactly what we want I'm just going to move this here just to show you it's very nice. Now the cool thing is that with this mixed shader you can actually change how transparent you want the water to be. So if we change the factor to around zero, now this will be different for you depending on how you plugged in these shaders. However, but if I change this down to zero, it's not even transparent. You can't see you can't see the other side at all. However, if we change this to one, there we are. Now if you know what effect you're going for and you do not even want transparency to start with, you don't even need to add these mixed shader nodes. You can just plug the principal BSDF into material output and you could call it a day. But this is just to show you how to make things more complex and we're going to animate the water now since what if you need what if you want an animation so what you want to go and do is open the timeline right here and what we're going to want to do is select the mapping node of the water texture the musgrave texture really much and what we're going to do is we're going to select the mapping node of a musgrave texture on the plate and what we're actually going to do is we're going to go and right click these values and either click insert keyframes or insert single keyframe. Now this is really your choice depending on where you want your water to go. However, if you want to move around more freely and not have to do extra work if you change your mind later on, you just do insert keyframes. If you've opened up the summary like this and you have your plane, you have your material right here, we're just going to open this down here to see the values. I'm just going to move to a different frame right here. You should do the same and just change it, change the location to whatever you want really. 
so I'm just going to change it X like this and we're going to go insert keyframes so now you can see it moves along I mean I'll show you material view just so you can see it better but you can see there's, uh, there's, there's water moving and if you want this water to not ease in and out what you need to do is select all the keyframes something like that all of them and press V on your keyboard and click on vector or you could right click and uh, go to handle type and change it to vector right here and basically it means it won't ease in and out and it's just changed the handle in a graph editor however we're not using graph editor since um, this is water and it's not that complicated so yeah so there we are now it's not easing in and out and it looks nice and yeah, that's how you make water in Blender for your Roblox GFXs or whatever you want to do. Thank you for watching this video and I will see you next time. Bye!